Hello everybody, now let's continue where we left off. Skill 2, rounding whole numbers. So there are two cities, ST A and ST B, and the distance between ST A and ST B is 371 miles. And if you tell a friend that the distance is about 400 miles, you have rounded the number. So let's look at the number line, and on a number line, 300 and 400 as you see that 371 is closer to 400 that's why 300 and 371 runs to 400 now we need to know that if the digit to the right is five six seven eight or nine we are going to round up if the digit to the right is zero one two three or four the underlying digit remains the same so if the digit is more than five or equal to round up if it's less than five it remains the same okay everybody we have a couple of examples let's look at example one Round 84,372 to the nearest thousand. So we need to highlight thousand and we need to look at the digit in thousand place. And we are going to underline the digit in thousand place, which is four. Then it's right. The digit to the underlined digit is three. So we are going to circle around three. Three is less than five so that's why the underlying digit which is four will remain the same therefore eighty four thousand three hundred and seventy two if we round off is gonna be eighty four thousand and the other digits will be zero Example 2, round 75,578 to the nearest thousand. We highlight thousand. The digit in the thousand place is five. And, and to its right is the digit five again. We are going to circle around five. So the circle number is five. Five is not less than five. So the underlying number is five the underlying digit is five five will be six we are going to round up so seventy five thousand five hundred seventy eight will be we are going to round up so seventy five thousand five hundred seventy eight will be seventy six thousand the other digits will be zero Example 3, round 4,713 to the nearest 1,000, we highlight 1,000, and again the digit in the 1,000 place is 4, and to its right, the next digit is 7, we circle around 7, 7 is more than 5, so we are going to round up, 7 will be 8, and we are going to round up the number, 4,713 will be... 5,000 Okay, now example 4, round 1,745 to the nearest 100, to the nearest 100. So we look at the digit in 100 place, which is 7, and we are going to underline 7, then to its right, to seven's right is four. We are gonna circle around four. Four is less than five, which means seven will remain the same. That's why seven will remain the same. Now we understand that 1,745, if we round off this number, 1,745, will be 1700 okay now let's look at example 5 round 51894 to the nearest 100 
we are going to highlight 100 then we are going to look at the digit in 100's place which is 8 we underline 8 we are going to circle around 9 9 is more than 5 that's why 8 is going to be 9 because we are going to increase 8 by 1 then we are going to round up 851,000 we are going to round up the number 51,894 so 51,894 is gonna be 51,900 example 6 round 71,804 to the nearest 100 we are gonna highlight 100 because it is asked so we are gonna underline 8 because the digit is in the hundreds place we're gonna circle uh, to its right which is zero circle around zero zero is less than five so eight will remain the same so seventy one thousand eight hundred four will be seventy one thousand eight hundred the other digits will be zero Example 7, round 51,894 to the nearest 10. We are going to highlight 10 and we are going to look at the digit in 10's place, which is 9. We underline 9 and we are going to circle round 4. 4 is less than 5, so 9 will remain the same. So if you, if you round off 51,894, then 51,894 will be 51,890. Okay, the last example, round 11,224 to the nearest 10. We are going to highlight 10. We are going to look at the digit in 10's place, which is 2. We are going to underline 2. We are going to circle around 5. 5 is equal to 5. We know that the digit uh, uh, is circled if the digit is circled five six seven eight and nine we are going to round up the number so 